Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77. We are back on Tinker World today. I'm down in the storage room as you can see. And uh, what I have plans for today is first, and this might be the only thing today, depends on how long it takes, but what I really want to do is I want to move uh, the furnace system that I have, which is very simple right now, it's just two furnaces. But I want to get the furnace system down here. Uh, the furnace system that's over that way by the where I used to have my little uh, encampment, uh, it is slow. It worked. It did what it needed to do, but it's it's a little slow. So we're going to build one down here. Now I've been looking online, and one of the designs I'm going to go with is the one by Il Mango. Il Mango does a lot of great designs using redstone. He really has some uh, great work. And if you get a chance to go over to his uh, channel and take a look at what he has, that'd be great. Um, I'll put a link to the description, link in the description to his video that I'm going to be using as a tutorial to make this. Uh, furnace array so we're gonna be doing that here in a second um, if you're liking Tinker World please let me know hit that like button leave a comment that sort of thing those are greatly appreciated um, I do this I don't do full craft now full craft I've had a little bit of writer's block so to speak so I really need some suggestions for that too and if you're watching here maybe you can uh, watch those as well and let me know something that you want to do okay so we're gonna be building off this furnace array over on this side over here and that means we're going to have to dig into this wall and just take out some space and make the system the way we want. I might use it right here against this wall, be where the furnace is, but we're going to have to walk into it on our uh, ledge here. So I'm going to start digging this out, figuring out what I need to do, and so we'll be, we'll be back in just a little bit. Let me get some space dug out. I finished doing a dig. I just decided to go all the way down to the same level as what I had there with the uh, previous section. Now I didn't do any finishing of the floor or the back wall or the ceiling. I didn't feel like that was necessary yet. I'll probably do that at the end once I figure out how this truly works out. Now, what I am working on next was I tried to figure out the layout of where the chests are going to be. Um, this right here would be the output of the furnace system. This is where you'd put in your items, like your iron ore or your uh, uncooked chicken. And this will be where you put the coal or the fuel for the furnace system. Now, I'm going to put in a line of hoppers going out that way. And then we're going to put on the furnaces on there just so I kind of get an idea of where things are going to be. Now, unfortunately, I am very low on hoppers. Uh, I do have a bunch of hoppers still in the system here, you can see. But I don't want to move these. I like having all these hoppers there because we use hoppers a lot in our build. So I'm just going to leave that there. What we're going to do in just a couple minutes after I get done running this line with what I have, I'm going to go to the iron farm, see what we've uh, cooked up in a while, and make up a whole bunch of hoppers so we have everything to go. So. Like I said, I come down here. I'm just going to make this run this line out for a little bit. And unfortunately, it's so high, it makes it hard. I'm probably going to have to make some sort of scaffolding so I can work on this project. But I wanted to have the space. I figured it'd be more, uh, it'd be better looking if I had it the way I did the other areas too. Okay, so we're going to make it go on over to this wall probably, and then I'll try to figure out where specifically I want the furnaces to go. Let me go get the uh, other hoppers made. As you can see, I have done the line of output, just a bunch of hoppers going into this chest, and I placed on the furnaces. This is the number that is used in the tutorial, which are 22 furnaces. Now, there is some ways that you can make more of these, and I perhaps may do that at a later point, but 22 is fine for what I want to do right now. Um, and I've put the hoppers going down in. This is the hopper that feeds in the material that you want to use in the furnace, like the chick chicken or the iron and so uh, I'm going to continue on with the tutorial I'm going to do a little bit more and I'll give you some progress updates to show you how it's going so let me keep going I've got the hopper lines in for both the source material and the fuel material and I've started to work on doing the redstone um, and so I'm trying to work on this and see how I can get this to look right so we're going to keep on continuing work on this and see how it goes uh, I'm a little worried about where I put this, I think it may need to go back a block or two, but I'm just going to build it out and see. And if I really need to move it, I can always tear it down and redo it again. Uh, I won't bore you with that part if I happen to do that. But yes, it's uh, so far it's looking okay. I'm using the same gray concrete um, so that I can go kind of with this same structure. So uh, hopefully it'll be flush with this wall. That's the intention. Um, we'll see. So let me continue on with this and I'll get back in a second. This tutorial is fairly easy. There's no clock mechanism or anything like that. It's just a lot of redstone. You have to make sure you get the timings right on the repeaters and things, but it's fairly easy. 
one of the things that this particular design solves is a problem where there are skipped furnaces like you put in your your fuel in your uh, source material that you want to smelt or use in a furnace and if it had a run of hoppers it would skip every so often and this design fixes that and that's why I'm going with this so I'm going to continue on with this top section and setting up the rest of them the way it does in the tutorial and then I'll be back and we'll start working on the deck section things are looking really good I'm getting close to finishing this up um, you can see I got a lot of the this is the controls for the fuel line up there is for the source line things are getting really close to getting finished here it, it looks ugly right now and I will be changing that out I might change out these blocks here for this uh, concrete I'm just going through the tutorial now like I said just so I can get through it and then we'll uh, make it better anyway okay let me get going on here and hopefully uh, by the next time you see this clip this will be fully functional okay this should be functional all of these furnaces are completely empty this is the source material let's start throwing that in there you can see it's slowly lowering the uh, amount of coal and I should start to see the coal come into these uh, furnaces. Now there's nothing yet. It puts them all in at the same time. It loads it up equally and evenly. Okay, so there it is. So um, anyway, okay, let's go on here. We're going to try to put in, I got 26 iron ore. So this should load all 22 of the 26 and then start all the furnaces up if it worked right. So let's just watch and see if all the furnaces uh, start up. Should take a couple seconds for it to all load and then they should all light if i did this right there they go okay so see it's working excellent now they're going to go through all that material and all the material should show up here of course i got a remnant block from something i broke earlier so we should start to see all the iron coming in and we have a total of 26 so 22 in a first batch probably by the time it all gets here the other four will be done and then we'll be done so i think this is working Let's see the other four come in real quick here. Shouldn't be too long. And there we go. And then the furnaces will shut off. So it looks like this is working great. I need to uh, basically make it look a lot better. Also, I've had a couple of monsters come into my area here, obviously because it's not safe. So let me uh, start to work on cleaning this up the way I want and making it look better. And then we're going to uh, get all the stuff from the other furnace system and bring it over. The system looks pretty good so far. Uh, as you can see here, I've kind of decorated it up here. We have the source, the fuel, and the output. Now, I haven't done this wall here because I plan on taking this out eventually because we're going to have more on the other side for a future uh, video that I'm going to be doing. And I haven't cleaned any of this up back here because I don't know how big this is going to be. I really should do this soon, and then we'll do the floor as well. Uh, there is a cave system right beyond this wall, so you're hearing some monsters maybe, but that's okay. So let's uh, go get everything over from the old furnace system and get it put over here. Let's do this really quick. It's pretty easy. What we do is we'll go and get all the coal. Mostly it's just coal. Um, we'll get all the material and then we'll put it all together and we'll have it ready to go. So this uh, furnace is really, really cool. Uh, it's, like I said, it's from an Il Mango design. He has a tutorial on it and I'll put the link in the description so you can also make this in your world. Uh, it's currently 22 furnaces long. I can expand it to be larger if I need to, um, but 22 should suffice me for what I need. Okay, so here we have this whole system here. We really just need to blow stuff away um, and pick up all the stuff that uh, gets dropped. So let's do that really quick here. Look at all that material. See that? Pick it all up. There we go. See? No more uh, super furnace. Let's go back over here, and we're going to put it all away. And we did get some of the other items that were sitting in there, like uh, the iron and the gold, which we can always throw in our sorting system as well. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, no longer over our little camp. It's in our castle, which look is looking great. And I want to thank Thomas again for doing a lot of work on this, and also Kent and Z Kleins who helped out some. But it's looking just amazing. Also, Thomas, if you are watching this video, come get your things, because uh, I have an elytra now. <laughs> Let's go on down. Let's go put this away. I don't know if I have any other material that I can smell. I guess I guess I could run through some sand just to make sure everything still works after my decoration. But let's put the fuel away. Okay. Let's go grab some sand. Uh, sand is over here. Let's grab that, and that that should be enough. It's 33 blocks. Oops, dropped my axe. My pickaxe. Okay. 
So source material in here, 33. And then all of them should light up in just a second as it fills out each of the furnaces. Oop. If I didn't break it. Uh, did I break it? Okay, so there's lots of fuel in there. Nothing's going in as far as the source material, so that means I probably broke it. Let me go take a look. It's working, but I'm not sure what I did. I think it was bud powering this particular hopper. That's where the uh, sand was located, so perhaps I don't, I shouldn't do anything with that block. So I'm going to leave that block open, and I'm going to put this out here, and uh, we'll just put in a like that. Uh, it's a little bit of an abrupt corner, but uh, it should work okay. Uh, we should have 33 glass. Good. Uh, let's let's go do the other sand and make some more just to see here. So we have 63. I just want to make sure that it works right. So let's grab this glass out. Let's put this in. So no glass is in here at the moment, so we should eventually see 63 glass. If that works, then the system is really working. I think I just had a little bit of a bug up there, so. Should start any time seeing material. There we go, okay, so it's definitely working. Excellent, okay, so let's think about what's gonna go on next. Well, we've gotten everything done here, and we've gotten all of the, uh, see the furnaces kicked off, those weren't needed. So it's, yeah, everything's working great. Uh, we got to figure out what's going to go on with this video, though. Uh, it's a little shorter than what I want to do, so I've got to think of something else to add to it. So let's uh, let's go over to Thomas's area. Thomas has been working on a ship, and he's been working on a lighthouse. And I'd like to show you that before I go. To make this more fun, we're going to take off from the top of our big tower of our castle. Thomas's place is that way, so let's go over there. Some speed. And we'll go see what's going on. Apparently, Pipo and Thomas are having a little conversation about a treasure room or something they're going to be building. Not sure what that's about. Um, that's okay. They're having fun. That's what this whole game is about, is having some fun. So, I'm going to be passing up here, just past Pipo, or not Pipo, Pause Player 10's base. Now we're going to go past Z Klein's base. He's got a house he's been working on, um, including his. Uh, there's his library, there's his house, looks pretty cool. And then just north of there is, which we're almost there, is Thomas's big tower. And you can see there, that's the tower, base, base alpha. It's pretty cool. He made runways so that you can land. It's very cool looking, very neat idea. I like that. And they're also color coded, so if you happen to go splat, <laughs> you at least know where to, uh, which side you were on based on the color. Very great idea. Thank you, Thomas, for that. Thomas has built this right here, which is the, a mock-up of the USS Constitution, which is a real uh, tall sailing ship. It's getting dark. Hopefully one of them will sleep. Uh, he's did all the interior work. It looks really good. It's a great design. Then over here, he's been working on a lighthouse. And let's see if I can get over there. So he's been working on this lighthouse. It looks really nice, nice and big. I'm not sure if I can land there, but we'll see what we can do here. There we go. Hey, we landed pretty well. Looks like it's got a place here that you can take off if you want to. Um, I haven't been up here yet, so I'm just kind of exploring and learning as well. Um, is there a doorway? There he is. Ah, look at that. He's using uh, end rods as the light source for the, the light that's supposed to be uh, inside of a lighthouse. Let's go sleep. Um, so that's pretty cool. He's done a really great job with some really nice big builds. Uh, a lot better decorations than I have because you think about it, he's done his tower, he did my castle, a lot of it, and the lighthouse and the uh, the boat. So eh, he's doing really well. So what do you guys think? You like it? Let's go back out and take a look from over here. That's weird coloring. I think it's just lighting. Anyway, I uh, really planned on the furnace taking longer, but it turned out to be a very easy tutorial. So I, uh, the video is shorter than I would like. Anyway, if uh, you like this video, please click that like button. 
If you have any comments, please put them in the comment section. If you'd like to be notified of videos I produce, hey, subscribe to this channel. Click the little bell icon. Anyway, that's about it. Look at that, they're just noticing now that I've got an off-limit sign. So there you go. Okay, well, uh, that's it for today. Everybody, have a great day. Bye-bye.